There are eight things to know about screenplays and formatting. Margins, page numbers, font face, font size, scene headings, action lines, dialogue, and titles. Margins. Your document's margin is the white space around the text. You have space above, below, and on either side of your text. This is the margin. For a screenplay, your document should have one inch margins on the top, bottom, and right, but a 1.5 inch margin on the left. You can change this by going to the File menu and choosing Page Setup. Make sure the left margin is 1.5 inches. Page Numbers Inside the margin, you can put additional text if you need to. If you put something in the top margin, it's called a header. If you put something in the bottom margin, it's called a footer. Headers and footers are interesting because whatever you put there will show up on every page of your document. We are going to put page numbers in the header. This way the page number will show up on every page of your document. To do this, go to the Insert menu and choose Page Numbers. A little window will pop up. There are lots of options, but we want our page numbers to be in the top right of the header. That's where a page number is supposed to go in a movie script. Font Face All screenplays need to use the font face called Courier. Courier. Not Courier New. Just plain Courier. If Courier isn't an option, select More Fonts and search for Courier. Font Size The font size of every screenplay is 12. Don't have multiple sizes of things, just make it 12 and leave it. Scene Headings All scenes start with a scene heading, sometimes called a slug line. They should be all caps, and I'm going to ask that we also make them bold. The scene heading, or slug line, tells the reader where the action is happening, the place of the story, the setting of this particular scene. Here's what a scene heading might look like in an actual screenplay. Scene headings are made up of three parts. The first part tells us if the scene takes place inside or outside. In screenwriting, we use the letters INT or EXT. INT stands for interior, meaning inside. EXT stands for exterior, meaning outside. The second part is the actual location, like a city street, or an ancient temple, or a car. The third and final part is the time. Not like a specific time, like 3.30 p.m., but just the general time of day, like early morning, night, day, afternoon. Here's an example of a scene heading. Interior, classroom, day. Action lines. Action lines tell us what we are seeing. Let's take a look at the script to A Quiet Place. Exterior, Main Street, late afternoon. The daughter exits the general store and follows her mother and father, who are walking down the street only stepping on the sand path. Their steps are almost silent. After a moment, her four-year-old brother follows behind her. We watch everyone walk in total silence. These are the action lines. They aren't the words people are saying. They are the words people are doing. They are the words that describe to us what we see. Action lines tell the audience what is happening. When writing action lines, keep it visual. Make sure the action lines are something that can be seen. Everything has to be visual. You cannot say what a character is thinking. Books are different. A book might say, Mary was sad. She missed her grandfather. She felt helpless and alone. You can't do that in a movie script. If you want Mary to be helpless and alone, you have to show that she is helpless and alone. How do we show that Mary is sad, helpless, and alone? Well, perhaps we write something like this. Exterior, graveyard, early evening. Mary is sitting by a gravestone, alone. It is dark, and the wind is blowing. 
tears are in her eyes. Incense candles burn as she stares quietly at the gravestone. See, you can like totally see it in your head. Mary is obviously sad and alone. Dialogue. Dialogue is what the characters say. It's the words they speak. Expecto Patronum! Formatting dialogue is pretty straightforward. Your character names should be centered in the page. They should also be written in all caps. That means every letter in the name should be capitalized like this. On the line below their name goes the dialogue. To format the dialogue correctly, you want to make sure that it starts 2.5 inches from the left. You already have a 1.5 inch margin on the left for everything else, but you'll need to add an extra inch for the dialogue. 1.5 inches of margin plus 1 inch equals 2.5 inches. Make sure rulers are turned on by going to View, Show Ruler. If your character is doing a voiceover, write VO next to their name. My name is Peter Parker. I was bitten by a radioactive spider. And for 10 years, I've been the one and only Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure you know the rest. With great power comes great responsibility. If you want to say how a character says a line, use a parenthetical. This means you use parentheses to describe how they say something. Here's an example. Exterior, jungle, afternoon. Dr. Grant looks at Ellie and points to the dinosaur in the distance. Dr. Grant, surprised. That's the word in parentheses that tells the actor how to say it. It's, it's a dinosaur. It's, it's a dinosaur. Uh -huh. Titles. If you want to write text over your screen, like the title of the movie, or displaying where something is, or the time. The frequency of the attacks has increased. Use the word title followed by a colon, and then the text you want to have shown on screen. Here's an example. To show this on screen, your script would have to have something like this. And that's how you put text on screen.